Hi and welcome to the fourth part of this series on the Trojan Knight opening. Um, we're going to start looking at the theory now. Um, we'll start off looking at the quite rare second move alternatives for white after knight h3, h6. The most common moves are the ones we've already mentioned in the previous videos. The knight c3, e4 and e3. Um, so we'll be covering those later but for now look at some some less threatening moves. Knight f4 is quite a quite a common move, surprisingly, um, especially among lower rated players, although it's new to the game. It looks quite dangerous coming into d5 and h5, but as long as black knows this d5 move, it's, it's completely harmless, because if knight h5, simply bishop g4, attacking e2, and then swapping off the knight. If the knight doesn't come into h5, it's well, it's not really clear what it's doing there. So e3, e5 is quite a good move here. If knight h5, again bishop g4, and f3, again black has no problems. And queen f3 is actually quite dubious here, simply because the queen excursion for black is particularly strong. But if king d1, uh, the king just gets stuck in the centre. It's going to become under fire sooner or later from these pawns. And g3 is possibly even worse. Because uh, after queen b4, c3 loses on the spot to queen e4, coming into f3 and c2. Maybe. On queen d3. with a win. So knight c3, knight c6, and now after bishop b5, I quite like, I quite like back king e7. It's just so dangerous, these light squares are really really weak around white's kings, so he can't afford to swap off this bishop, and otherwise the knight's coming into d4, it's just very good for black. So this d5 move is essentially just the only thing you really need to remember about this knight f4 move. Quite harmless. Uh, another move, a lot rarer than knight f4, is c3. This has a little bit of a, a trick in it. Um, black, white, sorry, is sort of hoping for, for e5 when queen a4 actually just wins. So the queen's sw swinging over to g4, so after knight c6, hitting d7, and then coming into g6. As long as black avoids this uh, disaster, you, sh you should be f you should be fine. Um, e6 is one possibility. Uh, I quite like b5, just cutting out any option of the queen ever coming to a4, and then you can just do uh, react as accordingly to any follow up from white. Maybe e4 makes some sort of sense. D5. Basically, this b5 is a lot more useful for black than c3 is for white. another move, knight a3. This hardly ever gets played but it's not such a bad move. Um, one reasonable option for black is e6 which after knight b5 would transpose to the two knight c3 lines that we'll cover later on. Uh, another option is b5. After b5 I think the most interesting move for white well white can play e4 when d5 will transpose to the 2e4 lines that we'll also look at later but e3 e6 and now knight f4 um, comparing this to the lines we'll look at later with 2e3 what white's sort of done here is he's prevented the lines that we looked at in the history section of the queen coming out and going over to, to b4 and taking on b2 due to this pressure on b5 also the main line with knight c6 is obviously completely cut out now simply because white can white can just capture on b5 and he's got a winning position so black has to come up with something else uh, fortunately he has this move bishop b7 taking advantage of the space that the b4s opened up here 
and now after knight d5 of this this is knight is completely completely safe as e takes the queen comes out to e5 with a win and if the bishop takes then queen f3 and you're coming into b7 looking quite nasty so black has to come up with something else queen h4 and now taking on d5 this is quite an interesting position um, I think white's probably forced to take the queen here and come into this line certainly black's doing okay even material slight imbalance in the, the pawn structure um, quite happy to play this position as black quite a good result from the opening really um, it's a little bit complicated with a little bit of tactics there so possibly if it would be simpler to play e6 simply knowing that knight b5 transposes to to the two knight c3 line so two good options there for black other moves uh, d4 is quite a common move generally this will transpose to other lines after d5 for example e4 directly transposes straight away to two e two e4 lines uh, maybe knight c3 eventually I mean white's gonna have to play e4 I mean this not gonna play e3 is he it's just uh, it's gonna play e4 and then it's gonna transpose into a line we already know about I suppose you could you could go for something like c4 but really it's, uh, it's nothing nothing special for white b4 a5 Okay, and that's that's pretty much it from the the main what I say main, the uh rare what rare white tries on move two. Other other tries really are sort of well, quite silly. And black's just gotta play sensible moves. Something like D five, uh E five, and you'll get a good game. Okay, I hope you come back for the next video. Thanks for watching.